Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another look using the Tom Ford First Frost Palette. My face makeup is done, but I will tell you the products that I've used. I started with the Too Faced Major Hangover RX Primer. This is the primer I grab when I don't really know which primer to use because it never gives me any issues under my foundation. And then the Wet n Wild Plump Makeup Blocker BB Cream. I don't even know how old this is. I think this was a limited edition BB cream, which makes no sense. It's okay. Um, it looks pretty on the skin. It got a little weirder on my nose, so I don't really know. I use the Give Me Glow Sugar Cookie Powder that I use in almost every video. Um, oh, concealer. I used the... Oh, it has no name anymore. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector that I used, I think, in a previous video. I went in with the Nava Cosmetics Dune Bronzer and the Betty Lou Luminizer on top because I like a good bronze. I can open this. So I use these two bronzers. I started with this one and then I finished this one on top because it's shimmery. And then I used my one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Close to Perfect really love this blush um i've got a lot on but i love blush so what can you do and then i threw on the mac whisper of guilt extra dimension skin finish um i did i found this on mercari brand new for 22 bucks so i was like mine came with a brush and a little bag and everything so i don't know it's really per i'm really glad and then um glossier boy brow on the uh brows so what i want to do is Hmm, should we prime it? Maybe we will prime my eyes. I normally don't prime my eyes with something like this, but why not? Let's use just the Urban Decay Primer Potion and just use like a little, I don't know. My eye shadow always creases because when I look forward, my eyes, I have a slight hood on the middle to outer corner of my eye so I'm always dealing with that and it's okay I don't mind it um I actually did this look last week and I didn't post any photos on it or anything like that but I've mentioned to some people in the comments from my last video that um I ended up just using one of the browns across the lid and I just feel like it looks really pretty but I do want to do a little bit of a base with some eyeshadow so let's use i gotta find something that tonally flows again well, I'm, I'm planning to use this shade all over the lid and then the lighter shade on the inner corner so i'm not using the pink shade today uh what should we use that might be too cool um, okay let's just use the Too faced chocolate bar palette the initials may line up. Tom Ford, Too Faced. See? I planned ahead. Alright, <laughs> let's just take uh, my Wing Goss, one of my Wing Goss 03 brushes. I always end up using these. And I'm just going to take white chocolate. Oh, what is that? What's happening there? Oh, it's hair. Please leave. Thanks. White, oh sorry, I'll show you this palette. Yeah, that's I just picked this up from TJ Maxx, I think. I think that was in my haul video a couple weeks ago. I, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the formula. Now I kind of understand what the hype was about, honestly. I'm going to use milk chocolate, which is more of the taupey brown. And I do feel like this is a palette a lot of people do have. Um, oh, we got a lot in there. Okay, we'll just blend, blend, blend. <laughs> so is everyone very excited for our Halloween even though it's going to be different this year but you can still dress up I'm very excited for my Halloween costume it's something that I truly truly love but we've I've never done and it's my first year being able to do a couple's costume, so very excited for that. We are going to be... What word? A, it's, is it pop culture? Cinematic history couple, at least. Yeah, so I'm excited. 
I just like doing fun makeup, you know, and my husband is amazing. He's, he's like, you can do whatever you need to do, like, to my face. I'm nothing too intense. Um, I'm thinking for him, and this really won't spoil it much, I think I'm going to only contour his face with a, a different color to give, like, the illusion of what we are as opposed to doing the whole face. And for me, I think I'm going to just do the same contour. I think that could be cool. And then the little details that you you have to add um, for our costumes. But I'm excited. Um, I'll tell you what we're not doing. Originally, we wanted to do Jasmine and Aladdin. But, oh, my God, are the Aladdin costumes on Amazon janky as all heck? I don't even know what i really don't know what some of them are honestly it's uh horrifying and then you know some of the jasmine costumes were just like not even clothing and i'm like come on that's not really what i want to go for so we decided not to go with them which is fine with me we could always do it in the future um, I don't really have an intense, I'm sorry, I'm using semi-sweet and triple fudge now. I don't really have an intense affinity to Jasmine and Aladdin. I just thought it would be cool. I also picked that out for us at the beginning of the summer when we were both quite tan. And I was like, wow, like, we will look good. I have no tan at this point. I don't go outside. The sun hurts me when I'm out there too long. It just dehydrates me, knocks me on my butt, and I don't really... I can't be bothered, honestly. And it's not that fun to, I don't know, I like laying out with someone else to chit chat and listen to music. I don't really just want to sit and do it by myself. I don't know. I like the whole summer fun experience of it all, you know? But yeah, now we're talking about summer when it's fall time. So, yeah. I do wonder if our neighborhood area is going to do trick-or-treating. That looks pretty good. I can't really be bothered to do anymore. Um, I wonder if our neighborhood's going to do trick-or-treating this year. Um, I know people have been talking about doing, like, candy shoots. Okay, I'm holding the palette the proper way so you can see. I'm using this shade here, and I'll kind of scooch in so you can see. And I'm just using it with my ring finger. It's a really pretty, like, every day, just throw it on. You don't need to even build the base with this. The last time that I wore this eyeshadow, I didn't. I just wanted to do a little bit more today. Show you what I do. Very pretty. Um, I mean, I hope we can give out candy. I love seeing just little kids in their little costumes. I think it's one of the sweetest things. And then the ones that can't, because they're just so little, they can't say trick or treat right, and they just try their hardest, and you're just like, it's cute, you know? But I do think we're going somewhere, so I don't even think we'd be able to hand out candy at proper handy, handy canned out time. Candy handout time. Now I'm taking the darker shade with my ring finger. So this is kind of what I talked about in the in the first impressions. How I would use his eyeshadow. You know, you just boop boop. I guess it all depends. In the best way, it truly depends on the size of your finger. How comfortable you're going to feel doing something like this. Because again, I use my smallest finger for for this. And then I'm going to go back in the crease with the bigger brush and just kind of tap over everything. Going back in with the brown shade. So I'm just going to take my little crease brush and just buff out any edges. And then I'm going to take... I've been using this brush for inner corner a lot. This is the Sonia G Flat Definer brush. I'm just going to go into that light shade and we're just going to... I'm keeping it, what's, how do I describe that? I'm keeping it right on the line. Of, well, I guess not with that one, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. Never mind. I really wanted to make a thin inner corner, but I decided not to. 
And then, uh, time-wise, we're looking pretty decent, so I'm going to do my eyeliner on camera today. Where did I put the brush? So I'm going to do my little bit of black eyeliner on camera, and I just use, again, um, I mentioned this uh, in my last video, but I just use um, eyeshadow. I've got a bent eyelash. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I just use eyeshadow as liner, so I'm taking the black shade, you can't even see, from the Nabla um, Secret Palette. You don't need to go out and buy this palette for the black, but it's like a cream to powder formula. Oh my god, I never do my eyeliner this far away from a mirror. The mirror's way behind you guys, so it's a good thing that it's not real eyeliner, because holy moly. I think that looks pretty good. Just a little... A little something and then I'm gonna blur out that outer edge because especially too since I am just using powder I'm not gonna have a crisp edge because it's a powder okay Ooh, see got a little crazy over here see we could fix that though we can fix that so again taking that little crease brush these things are really handy. You want small crease brushes for that little bit of detail work. This, I guess, is a little bit bigger because there is a smaller one that came in this set. But, okay, and then I'll take out my powder brush for what I use to set my face powder. And if there's anything left, I'm just going to run that under. It looks okay to me, and I'm really stinking far away from my mirror. I'm um, just going to go in with a sample of Too Faced. I'm going to use a small mirror. Um, a trick I've learned is to kind of just look down. Oh, into a mirror, though. I do like this mascara. I mainly have it in travel sizes, um, but I like the natural hair wand with the hourglass shape. The hourglass shape is one of my, excuse me, favorites for mascara. And I have a lot of favorite mascaras, but I never end up repurchasing them because I always just use minis and samples that I get from things. So I've never really gotten the chance in the last couple of years to purchase a mascara I actually wanted. Except I did a drugstore haul mascara last year. I bought a couple when they were on sale. And I just opened like one at a time. The classics like Maybelline the Rocket. This, hoo hoo, this got a little, a little messy, but we can fix that. Oh no. Okay, well, things happen. Things happen, so. You're gonna fix that together. Have no fear. You just need a Q-tip. Q-tips are your friends. All right. And I always keep Q-tips in my makeup room, but I just keep the Dollar Tree ones. Oh, that wasn't ready to come off, but guess what? You know, things, things happen and it's, it's okay. It's just a regular schmegular day, you know, for a little mess up makeup. Not that bad. Not that bad. It's your wedding day? Yes, you can panic. It's your driver's license photo day? Yes, you can panic. But regular day? There's no reason to panic. Am I just saying this to calm myself down? I don't know. Alright, and then again, we're just gonna... We're just gonna dip into my face powder again. I'm gonna very carefully put it right here. I'm just gonna pick that up and really just kind of bake that little area where we fixed all the mess ups. Gotta do the same on both sides. Mm, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. I am going to take, I feel like um, this mascara on this side got a little bit clumpy, so I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Sorry, that shook up my acrylic storage over here. 
uh, would you guys like a makeup storage video? I've got, I've got a lot, you know, it's gonna be long. I'll probably have to do it in segments because I've, I mean, I've got over 50 for bronzers, blush, highlighters each, you know, like it's not gonna be a short video. But I can do it if you want. Okay, so this is the look using none of none of the pink shades. Not using the pink shade in the Tom Ford quad. And I really like it. Um, I'm gonna just swatch that shade for you. Because I just feel like it's just a really pretty everyday color. Are you gonna focus? No. I don't know. I really like it. I'm glad I bought it. And I figured I would just throw up another tutorial um, using, not using the pink shade because a lot of people might think, oh, you know, you have to use it as a lid shade where I don't feel like my eye look looks dark and I used the, what is this? A brownie taupey mauve? I'm not sure. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching today's video. Oh, you know, let's do lips. Let's do a lip. Who should we do? Marc Jacobs? Kim? Mmm. This Becca one? No, it looks too warm. Alright, let's do Marc Jacobs. Let's shear it out. This is infamous? put a gloss let's put a gloss um this i think is sweet tea from dominique cosmetics this smells like a dream a whole dream it really didn't do anything because it's like so neutral but all right this is the final look i hope that you guys liked today's video please comment like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video Bye.